hey what's up guys welcome back to the tutelage.com and uh, if you are new to this particular video series then I recommend you please go ahead and watch my very first video and just start following me from there but uh, if you guys uh, have been watching my last videos then you would be sure that what we are working on so this is uh, something we created last time that was our login form if I will put the right credentials it will let me log in otherwise it will give me an error that says invalid credentials and everything is going ahead with Ajax so no page refresh nothing is happening let's take a look on our files we created till now that was the sign up and login.php file this index.php file is something new guys so go ahead and create a file name it call name it index.php and leave it blank for now and then we have the script folder where we created a connection file a login and a sign up script and a js file oh this folder is empty i'm not sure why and uh, then we have this includes folder that i created new and I will tell you guys what we are what I'm going to do with this particular includes folder then I may just add a CSS folder that what we created till now so what I'm going to do I'm going to open my login script.php file right now this is something we created guys we created a session once the person is logged in and we are echoing a and if you would be sure the reason we are echoing a because once we are using Ajax we cannot use the header function you know like in php you can do like once the person is logged in successfully you can you know header that person to the particular file but if you are doing it with ajax that will not work we will have to do it in a different way so what i'm doing is i'm echoing this particular letter a you can do whatever you want and then out here in the login.php file i'm saying my ajax that uh, if the response is coming equal to a then go ahead and redirect the person back to the index.php page okay that is something we created till now one more thing I want to show you guys if I'll go to my users table and if you guys will notice one thing it shows a column out here which is login date and the login date out here shows at 28 July and if I will log in right now so I'm going to log in admin at the rate admin.com and the password admin. See, it redirected me to that page called index.php, but still out here the date is same. That's 28 July. But we we want to update this date to today's day. How to do that, guys? Go to your login script.php page just after this echo, or I would say before this echo create a query name it dollar update equal to mysql query i'm going to say update the name of the table that would be users set uh, the name of our field is login date set login date equal to now now is a mysql function for the current time and date where uh, email as equals to dollar email okay or die give us a mysql error just for the debugging purposes if you guys want you can take this off later so we are saying update this particular table called user set the login date to now where email is equal to dollar email go ahead and test it once again i'm gonna go back i will refresh the page I will log in again with admin at the rate admin.com with my password and it redirected me there if I'll come back let me refresh my SQL buddy and here you go it shows today's date so we are successfully able to update our date now what you guys need to do is open your index.php file this one and let me show you the markup I created for myself. So there is just the HTML5 doc type with a link to the style sheet that I'm going to show you guys just now. After that, I created two files. One is a header.php file and one is a navigation.php file. That is the reason I created these separate files because, you know, anytime I want my header and the navigation bar, 
I don't have to write them on every single file. I created one file. I can, you know, include this file on number of files I want. So, also even, you know, like if I have to change my navigation bar to something else out here, I don't have to change it on every particular file. I can go to my includes folder and I can only change it out here and it will start reflecting to all of the files. So this is something really good practice that you guys can follow. Just create a different header, a navigation, and a footer files and include them. So we will start with our header file first. The header file is quite simple as it can be. I have a div ID he header that is going to take the entire markup. Then I have a div ID left container because if you guys will notice, I have a left and a right panel out here. So in the left container, I have this pan of newsletter admin that is just this you know particular heading out here then I have a div ID container right which have these two li items one is admin and one is sign out later I will make them the links so that if you if I'll click on it it will uh, let me sign out from my admin panel then the ending of the UL and the ending of uh, the right container and finally the ending of my header so it's quite simple as it can be next what I have is the nav.php file it is also very very simple a dev ID called main nav with a UL uh, ID navigation with some list items and the link to our dashboard and to our newsletters that we are just going to cover in the coming series or I would say coming video sorry <clears throat> this is what it is and let me show you guys the CSS file I created so I will open the CSS file with my text editor just down here. Here it says header styles. I have the div ID main wrapper. That is the entire wrapper for this body. After main wrapper, I have my header. On the header, I gave this particular image of bgheader.gif. Guys, you can use any image or you know use any background color. That's fine. I gave it a text color of something near to gray and a height of 51 pixels, a line height of 51 pixels to keep it, uh, you know, middle in the horizontal way. So if I'll take my line height off, see how it will look. Okay, everything is still same now. Okay, because I took the height off, not the line height. See, everything just moved slightly up. So I will put my line height back there. Then I have the uh, div ID left container that will contain this particular heading. It is uh, floating to left with a margin left of 16 pixels and a width of 80%. And the right container have a div, uh, have a width of 20% uh, and it's floating towards right. Then I created these UL class top menus, you know, some basic styling on the list items. Then here it says div ID main nav that would be this particular navigation part. It has a background of EO, a, you know, a lighter gray with a height of 40 pixels, a minimum width of 1024 pixels, and the overflow to hidden. And the navigation that would be the, you know, these two list items you will just guys basic markup nothing fancy out here you can you know just type the entire css if you want or if you want you can create your own <clears throat> the main thing we are going to follow today is we are going to create our sessions so i believe you have this index.php file set up on the very top open the php tag and i'm going to say if is set dollar session name Okay, then do something, also do something else. Okay, else, do something else. So what I'm saying, if this particular session that we created out here, session name, if that particular session has been set, guys, this session will only get set once the person will log in with the right credentials. If they are not logged in with the right credential, this if statement will be bypassed and the system will follow this one so there is no chance to create this particular session this session will only get created if the right person is logged in with the right credentials if that particular session is set then create a variable called dollar name to particular to that particular session 
So now our this variable is equal to the session. Else header location uh, index.php. Okay. So what I'm saying, if this particular session has been set, then let that person log in. Otherwise, go ahead and move that person back to login.php file. I'm sorry, not to index.php. Okay, so let me show you what uh, this particular um, 10 line of code is going to do for us. <clears throat> Out here, we already have our session set. Whether we will have to close this browser in order to destroy that session or we will have to write our standard.php file that I'm not going to do today. We will do it some other time. I'm going to open my uh, Google Chrome where we don't have this particular session set and uh, I'm going to say localhost slash uh, newsletter slash index.php and see I have been redirected back to login.php file guys. Okay, if I try to uh, go to my login. P uh, I try to go to my index.php file and it put me back to my login.php file. But I'm strange why it's not showing me any styles out here. Hmm. Let's go back to this login.php. They do show me styles, but there it's not showing me styles. That is something really strange. What happened? Let me check out my login.php file. And there's the style.css file out here on the top. So, background is a background color. Let's make it to background. Okay, now it's fine. Might be, uh, you know, guys, Google Chrome don't take the parameter called background color. But now it's fine. It's pretty good the way we want it. So this is the benefit of creating sessions. If someone is trying to access your page directly, they would be, you know, redirected back to this login.php page. I believe, guys, that's all for this particular video. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.